Howdy folks. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to add a bunch of power to your Godot 4.0 engine by adding script templates. Now these are custom templates that you can make however you want to work and uh, you can put them in the editor folder or in the project folder. I'm going to put mine in the editor folder because it's a lot simpler and it'll apply to all projects that I create. So the script that I'm going to make today is a top-down uh, RPG type of script. So the first thing I'll do is search for a character body node, and that is the new kinematic body 2D equivalent. Now if we hit the plus sign right now, you'll see we've got 2D basic movement, and the description is classic movement for gravity games like platformers. And then the other things we have are node default and object empty. So I'm going to hit cancel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on editor here and go to open editor data slash settings folder. Now you'll note I've got a bunch of folders in here, things that you can kind of manipulate if you want. Uh, I'm going to go into script templates. Now you can see the no comment and the empty scripts are already in here. And how you make your own, uh, because each of the templates is actually associated with a node, you have to make a folder for that node. So we'll go here, new folder, and we'll put uh, character body 2D, that's the name of the node type. You double click that, and then what we can do is we can put our own value in there. Now I have one here already that does this. Let me show it to you. I'll just copy it right in. I'll just open it with Visual Studio Code. Now note at the top you get access to some things. Uh, you can do meta description um, and that is so classic movement for RPG or top-down games that do not apply gravity and then you have access to some things like base. You'll want to use base for your base type even though you've got the folder name in there and the reason for that instead of using character body 2d here is possibly for upgrades in the future they might change names and having base will just help keep it future proof and so now we just have uh, basic speed friction and you get the direction it's up down left right so you have access to all of those and note from the difference from the other one is we've changed this so uh, when you press a direction, it goes normally, but it goes to the vector related move toward instead of normal move toward or float move toward, which is what the original script uses. So this is all you need to have basically. I'll have a, uh, a gist with this provided and so you can use it as, as you will. And uh, that's all you need. I'm not sure if it'll show up yet because I think I have to restart my editor. Let's take a look. Oh no, it's already there. So it dynamically updated. You can already see it. If I click that and hit create, notice it adds everything that I just had in that template. And so that's how you can uh, actually make your game uh, much, much faster. You can add any templates you want. Notice this is just GD script in this file. So you can put anything you want in there. You can have one that, uh, you know, uh, does a bunch of multiplayer connections by default you can do it for just about anything and so yeah that's all i wanted to show today thank you very much